Okay, so now having covered unit three, which was very much about culture and how culture affects um, communication, we are going to move to unit four, which is actually on the topic of pedagogy and practice in education. The aim of this unit is to develop your theoretical and practical grounding in approaches to teaching and learning related to subject pedagogic knowledge and pedagogic practices. So if you are new to the term pedagogy, you may be familiar with it already, we are going to learn what that means and how these practices are implemented within our own jobs and within our own fields as well. So that is the topic of unit four. We are going to understand, study what pedagogy really means and just to give you a brief explanation here. Again, taken from the Cambridge Dictionary, pedagogy is the study of the methods and activities of teaching. We are going to be talking about where pedagogy, uh, the term pedagogy actually originates from. And you are going to learn that it originates from ancient Greece and the actual word pedagogue translates as leader of children. It is quite fascinating to learn the story behind that um, term and how it was introduced and then also talking about all the different uh, models and well, approaches really all the different pedagogical approaches that are present at the moment but it is always useful to understand where a key term comes from and during unit four we are going to talk about the background story of that term and also what uh, pedagogy really in encompasses as a term because although this is a short definition by the Cambridge Dictionary, the term is much wider when it comes to all the different methods and activities of teaching that it incorporates. So unit four is all about understanding how to uh, put those different approaches to pedagogy in practice in your own role as an education manager and practitioner. We are going to look at different approaches to pedagogy. Some of them, and I'm not going to go into too much detail here because I'm conscious of timing and I'm also conscious that we are doing a brief overview of the entire level seven. As I mentioned, during the actual sessions, there will be much greater detail. But some of the key approaches that we are going to discuss are constructivism, social constructivism, behaviorism and liberationism. So these are some of the different approaches that we are going to discuss at the sessions and you are going to learn what each one of them uh, incorporates and think about what you have already been um, using within your own practice. Perhaps you didn't know it was inspired by a particular approach. So this is why we've got this theoretical element here, which is quite present in this unit as well. We are also, as I just mentioned, we're also going to take not only a theoretical approach, but also a practical approach where you could think about your own pedagogical practice, having learned about the different approaches and the theory behind them and having made that connection, that link between them and what you practice. We are also going to talk about some practical ways for you to use those approaches. We are going to talk about um, the different methods right, within each of those approaches and some of those methods are open-ended instruction, integrated learning. So here we are really talking about how you're actually applying the approach in terms of the methods that it incorporates, right? So whether you're giving open-ended instruction, whether uh, it's an in integrated learning, inquiry learning, differentiated instruction, experiential learning, 
we do not have that much time to cover each one of those but during unit 4 we are going to focus not only on the key approaches but on all of these methods so that you can understand what methods work best in your own practice and which method is suitable to what context what situation depending on the scope of your role depending on whether you are facilitating directly whether you're more on the strategic side and or, or whether you are responsible for writing the policies and procedures yourself and how you are communicating those methods to the people that you are um, overseeing so that they could implement them in their own practice so we are going to look at um, the concept of um, uh, pedagogy at different approaches and methods and how to use that within your own role in very practical terms the theory here is to give you a background understanding of how to use that in your role and apply it directly so that you could become an effective practitioner within your field again irrespective of um, the how how wide the scope of your role is okay and again you will not only be supported in understanding how you use um, pedagogical approaches but you are also going to think about how you could support others as well in thinking about uh, some of the methods that they could use in order to support them in their own practice especially if you are overseeing a team of trainers for instance as a learning and development manager as a director again depending on the seniority of your role as well so we are going to be talking about um, how you could be improving your own practice there is an entire unit within this level that focuses on reflection but here at unit four we are also going to talk about that as well and we are going to talk about the different means through which you could improve how you use those methods to give you an example we're going to talk about using reflective logs we're going to talk about um, having observation buddies collecting learners feedback and that is all about you evaluating your own performance in how you use pedagogical approaches and how effective the methods that you have adopted are as well okay